to the arrest of President Trump's former campaign chief and top White House strategist Steve Bannon. Taken into custody from a 150-foot yacht to face charges of defrauding donors to a campaign to build the border wall. Bannon is the sixth closest Trump associate to be indicted for a felony, joining former campaign chair Paul Manafort, deputy campaign chair Rick Gates, political advisor Roger Stone, longtime attorney Michael Cohen, and former national security advisor Michael Flynn. Chief White House correspondent John Carl has the story. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. Steve Bannon is calling the charges against him a fiasco. He has pleaded not guilty. But these are serious allegations against the president's former chief strategist, accused of ripping off hundreds of thousands of people, most, if not all of them, almost certainly Trump supporters. Overnight, Steve Bannon appeared defiant as he emerged from a New York courthouse after pleading not guilty to charges of money laundering and fraud. Bannon was arrested while aboard this $28 million luxury yacht owned by an exiled Chinese billionaire off the coast of Connecticut. Bannon ran Donald Trump's presidential campaign in 2016 and went to the White House as his chief strategist. He and three others are accused of defrauding hundreds of thousands of people, allegedly profiting off a scheme to raise money to help build President Trump's promised wall on the Mexican border. Build that wall! Build that wall! With a group called We Build the Wall, Bannon and the others raised $25 million, promising to build a section of the wall themselves and offering donors a brick with their names on it. You're not going to last forever, but your brick will. This is a fundraising video of the group from February 2019. It's really the heart of the Trump movement. I think it's one of the reasons, if not the reason, that Donald Trump's president of the United States. The group was founded by Brian Colfage, an Air Force vet who lost three limbs in Iraq. In fundraising pitches, he insisted every penny raised would go to the wall. Everyone who donates right now, your money goes towards this, this wall. 100% of your money goes towards the wall. It's not going to line someone's pocket. I'm taking zero dollars of the salary, no compensation. It's going towards the wall. The indictment alleges Colfage himself used hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay for personal expenses, including home renovations, payment towards a boat, a luxury SUV, a golf cart, jewelry, cosmetic surgery, personal tax payments, and credit card debt. The indictment alleges Bannon himself used hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay for his own expenses. President Trump called the charges very sad and downplayed his connections to Bannon, who he fired three years ago. I feel very badly. I haven't been dealing with him for a long period of time. The president said he never liked the Build the Wall campaign. When I read about it, I didn't like it. I said, this is for government. This isn't for private people. And it sounded to me like showboating. But the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., promoted the project at an event last year, saying it is exactly the kind of thing the private sector should be doing. This is private enterprise at its finest, doing it better, faster, cheaper than anything else. And what you guys are doing is pretty amazing. In a statement, Donald Trump Jr. said that other than the speech, he never supported the project and said if the allegations are true, quote, the group deserves to be held accountable. Bannon has been released on $5 million bail. His travel is restricted to the New York and D.C. areas. And Cecilia, he is also not allowed to travel on private jets or yachts. Okay, John, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.